Hello everybody, my name is Aneta and today we're gonna do a design, kind of grunge design because I'm in the mood for it and I've been looking at a lot of Pinterest images that are very grungy and I thought why not to make one? My computer is throwing tantrums, so it's really slowing down once I turn on QuickTime. I updated my Photoshop and Adobe products and I think that they are taking up too much space because I've been using 2017 one and did not care at all until I decided that why not, I'm just gonna do it. So let's hope for the best. This is the image that I selected. I went to work with this one. There are some new things that I'm not used to, but there are some new things that are really sick. I kind of want to extend it like this. I've been really inspired by... Okay, it doesn't matter what I was inspired by. But this is my new pins. I really like the colors of these. I want very minimal, very abstract. <sighs> oh, I love sneezing really love this one. I feel like it's made with selective color and gradient. I have some chai tea. Let's not spill it on computer, but let's enjoy it. Wait, I think we can create something with these. Some mad stuff. Are we able to create something with those? Maybe today's gonna be a longer design because I feel like it and no one can stop me. Okay, maybe delete this one. My computer is warming up, sorry. I'm so scattered. I really like this one. Let's make it a smart object. Hmm. Okay, and then... What kind of inspiration we could take? Maybe I should put them together. You know what I really like? I like text, but the problem is that I don't... I'm not really a talking person. Like, I can talk, you know, in front of camera and I can talk in day-to-day -day life. But I don't think I can nicely say something smart, which is the key for nice posters, you know, with quotes and stuff. I'm not good at that at all. Maybe this one should have been big. What do you think? Why are you not snapping? Document bounds? Yes, thank you. I think I want to put it in random places. Yeah, I kind of like that. Maybe I will add something into the corner. I don't know what I want at the moment, but let's stick with this. One thing that I found in Photoshop recently was color lookup and you can load film. I think it's more on like simple pictures, but it might be a nice way to edit a picture. I mean, make a background for it to move on and, you know, add your other edits. Some of them pretty interesting. I mean, like this one, it looks so pretty. Maybe I want to leave it like this. It feels very summery, very like blurry, kind of. I will. What will I do? I'll convert them to a smart object. Will I? No, I won't. I won't because I want to take both a blur. And what will I do with the blur is I'll make the picture maybe feel a little bit like... I don't know the word. I don't know the word for it. I think the word is blurry. That's what I want to say. Now I'm gonna upload my film textures from this. That's how I call it. Oh, I call it scratches. I think it looks pretty without borders, so I'm not gonna put any borders. But I also want to add paper. Oh my god, I'll show you what I downloaded yesterday. Oh, I wish I could show you the project that I was working on. I could just leave it like this. I think it looks already pretty. But there is this temptation in me. I have to make it more grunge. I have to make it like this. I have this urge to make things look grungy because I assume that it's not gonna look like my style and I'll be just doing what everyone else is doing. Making it look just pretty and clean and nice, which I don't wanna do. I feel like I could add some text. What text should I add? The hardest question of all time. I just don't like these corny quotes. I really don't like them. And I think all the quotes are corny. But you know what's not corny? Sugar spice and everything nice? No, that's corny. That is corny. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I feel like all the texts just make me cringe. And whenever I'm putting one, uh -uh. treat people in kindness. <sighs> indulge. Let's put a word indulge. Oh my no, God! 
No, God, please, no, 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 no! Does that look cute? Because I don't know. Oh my God, yes, 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 yes. So I downloaded heaps of brushes yesterday. Excuse me? What the fuck? Why? Things have not saved in the Photoshop. What the f Okay, so these are the brushes that did not save for some reason. I need to figure out how to use them. Import brushes and then select all of them and I press open and they all open up nicely. Thank you. These are all free. I feel like mushrooms could look. Cute again. I don't know, am I going too far with this edit? No, I don't think I'm going too far. I said I'm gonna do a grunge edit and it ended up not being grunge and I'm not even talking about anything important today. Do I even talk about anything important apart from myself and my thoughts? No, not really. You know, they indulge. I don't care about it and I don't want to put it in there. I don't know what I want to do. That's one of the reasons why I don't like looking at these things because it's never gonna be as good as it is on my inspiration. And because I don't want to copy it completely, i just never gonna create something that is as pretty as there. Well, I'm gonna create my kind of art, but at the moment I'm just feeling... I'm feeling not positive, I'll admit that. I'm feeling sad. I really don't like this design. Wow, that escalated quickly. I want to add some things on it. These are my scans. something else. This does not satisfy me just yet. What if I end this thing? Hmm, I'm kinda happy. I think I like it. Yes, that is it. I really like the design. I thought I'm not gonna like it, but that happens to me all the time. One thing that I've learned yesterday when I was scrolling on my Instagram, procrastinating, I learned that you know you are procrastinating, not because you're lazy and unmotivated, but because your fears have transformed into the limiting beliefs and resistance, and you're using procrastination as a coping mechanism. I've been thinking about it because I have not on the wall here you can't have work without emails, so go and reply to them. You should not, you should be, not afraid be afraid to fail. fail. Get out of Get your comfort zone, zone and vibe. No one no will one hate will you. Hate you. You, can you can do anything. Believe, believe it and feel it. Feel the more you do, the better you get. get. Let, yourself Let yourself make yourself mistakes. mistakes. And all these stupid motivational quotes that are corny and I just a minute ago said that I hate them. But the thing is that I really don't like writing emails, but I realized that I don't like writing emails because they lead to a direct result of failing. And when I'm planning shoots with clients, I avoid replying to emails and I don't reply for like a week or two just because I just can't physically sit down and do it because I'm so scared that it's not gonna be good and I'm like why do people choose to work with me? I understand that I'm good, I wouldn't be you know creating YouTube videos and continue doing what I do but I think the more I take on bigger projects the scarier it gets because there is more money involved and I feel responsible to deliver the result that the client wants which is very fair but I'm just so, I'm so afraid and I'm find it so hard and I've been procrastinating but good thing is that I understand it and I'm trying now to kind of cope with it and put on some motivational things that are from me and not from internet and try to convince myself and remind myself that I can do good work. One of the clients wants to shoot in the studio and I'm not really experienced in the studio, I don't really know how to work with lights but that's what I tell to myself because I shot in the studio definitely more than five times, probably more than 10 
10 times and literally the last shoot that I did was in the studio and my other client that wants pictures are literally the same style and the same mood the same result that I did the last shoot that made me realize that I can do it and the shoot that we did was terrible lighting because it was lights that were not really good they were old and you can use expensive gear and make it really nice and if you're using only expensive gear you will have a thought that that's what you need to make it work but i've been using like old gear most of the time it's never as smooth as possible usually 70 percent of the time shoots do not go as you plan but that's why i'm afraid to plan I don't know like I'm just so caught up in my head and I'm ranting kind of because I want to let it out but also because I want to let you know that maybe you're procrastinating not because you are lazy and unmotivated but because of your fear to fail so you just try not to do it and push it so you would not have to deal with it and that is so okay and I think everyone every single one of us has that fear the same as i was watching billy eilish um documentary and she has the same thoughts of not being great like she can't understand why people love her and love her music and she is the number six or whatever most listened person in the world like everyone every single one of us has that fear and it's okay and i reminded i think that to myself that it is a that's about it and please subscribe and you know, like if you'd like to i really appreciate that and i really love you guys and value your time that you spend watching my videos very exciting i am so happy to have you and do this i love this thank you so much okay bye